Hi, welcome to Lisbon International Capital of Portugal, which attracts travelers with its unique history, great cuisine, and beautiful landscapes. In this video, we will discover the charms of the city of Seven Hills together and show you why it is worth spending some time here. Lisbon does not only have beautiful monuments and great attractions, but also a unique geographical location on the north bank of the Tagus River, which flows into the Atlantic Ocean. The city is inhabited by over 2.5 million people and is the political, cultural, and economic center of Portugal. The climate in Lisbon is mild with dry summers and winters where the temperature rarely drops below zero. Lisbon is a city with rich history traces of which can be found in its many corners. Like Rome, Lisbon is located on seven hills. According to legend, the city was founded by Odysseus, but there is also evidence that the port of Lisbon had already been used by the Phoenicians and Carthaginians before the arrival of the Greeks. In Roman times, the city was called Olispio and became the capital of the province of Lusitania in 48 BC. In about 719, Lisbon was captured by the Moors who contributed to the development of the city. In the 16th century, Lisbon was considered one of the greatest cities in the world and its wealth attracted people from all over Europe. However, in the following years, the city was plagued by droughts and Black Death epidemics which led to its fall. The greatest catastrophe, however, was a natural disaster in the form of an earthquake in 1755, which almost completely destroyed the city. Today, only fragments of Alfama have been preserved in Lisbon, allowing you to see a bit of the old city. Worry that you won't remember all this information? No problem. You can find everything in the description under the video. In addition to practical advice, it also includes links to offers of trips, accommodation, tickets to attractions, and tips on how to avoid currency conversion when paying abroad. Be aware that if you take advantage of any of the offers, you support the development of my channel. Lisbon is a city that offers entertainment that suits every pocket and taste. You'll find plenty of bars and restaurants with traditional Portuguese fado dotted around the city, especially in the Barro Alto district. This is where the streets turn into colorful passageways full of music and friends looking for an opportunity to have a good time. On weekends, the bars are crowded, so it's definitely worth booking a table in advance. If you're looking for something a little less traditional, I'd recommend checking out the Lux Free Jill Club, which has been a trendy hangout and party spot in Lisbon for years. It is a two-story club with a variety of music genres and a rooftop terrace with stunning views of the Old Town and the Tagus River. Places like Lux Fragile show that Lisbon is a city that never sleeps and always has something to offer. If you are planning to visit Lisbon, it is worth remembering a few basic safety rules. Although the city is considered one of the safest in the world, you still need to be vigilant and watch out for pickpockets, especially in places like the 28 tram and subway. At night, it is better to avoid narrow streets and dark corners where you can come across homeless people or dealers. On the streets of the city, you can also meet beggars, which can be slightly unpleasant for some people. Lisbon is a city that stuns with its magnificent buildings. To enjoy a leisurely tour of the Portuguese metropolis, you should book at least four or five days. This will give you time to thoroughly familiarize yourself with the culture and history of this beautiful city. What is worth seeing? Here are some suggestions to include in your itinerary. In the center of Lisbon there, there is an impressive suspension bridge, Ponte 25 de Abril, over 2.2 km long, which stretches over the Tagus River. It is the third longest rope bridge in the world and a true engineering masterpiece. You can cross the bridge both by car or by train. The most beautiful view of it is from the statue of Cristo Rey. If you want to feel even closer to the bridge, take a boat trip and admire it from the river. One of the most beautiful places in Lisbon is the Sepetriarchal Cathedral. This is the oldest church in the city, built in the 12th century. What makes this cathedral different from other churches? Certainly the two bell towers that rise to the left and right of the main gate. But that's not all. See, Patriarchal Cathedral went through many difficult times. Due to numerous earthquakes, it had to be rebuilt many times. 
Today, it is a mixture of different architectural styles, which makes this cathedral unique and inimitable. The entrance portal was built in the Gothic style, while the tops of the towers are Baroque. Be sure to see it while exploring Lisbon. It is a unique place that will surely delight. In one of the most beautiful districts of Lisbon, the Belém area, you will find the iconic Torre de Belém. It is not only the symbol of the city, but also a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1983. The tower dates back to the 16th century and originally served as a lighthouse. You can reach it by a small bridge or preferably by tram line 15. It certainly is one of the most stunning attractions of Lisbon, which will delight every lover of architecture and history. This place is sure to impress. The Statue of Christ, which overlooks the Tajo River, is not only a beautiful sight, but also an important religious symbol. This 28-meter statue is one of the tallest in the world, reminiscent of the famous figure of Christ in Rio de Janeiro. Although the Cristo Rai statue is technically located in the neighboring Almada, you cannot miss it when visiting Lisbon. It is worth visiting this place not only for its beauty and symbolism, but also for the opportunity to admire amazing views of the city and the Tajo River. The best way to reach the monument is by ferry or bus. It is a comfortable and picturesque solution that will allow you to feel the atmosphere of the city and enjoy beautiful landscapes. If you want to feel the real atmosphere of Lisbon, you must take a ride on one of the most iconic trams in the world. Electrico 28. This yellow tram is a real treat for time travel lovers as its carriages date back to the 1930s. The ride along this route is an unforgettable experience, passing picturesque landscapes and historic districts such as Alfama and Bayexa. If you want to avoid the crowds, it is best to get on at one of the end stops and start your adventure there. One of the most important monuments of Lisbon and a real must-see during your trip is the Mistero das Geronimo's Monastery, located in the historic district of Belém. This majestic Manuline-style building, one of a kind, is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The monastery is surrounded by a beautiful park, which adds to its charm. Inside the monastery, there are royal tombs where famous kings, such as Emmanuel I and John III, are buried. In addition, it is worth visiting the Maritime Museum and the Archaeological Museum, which are located in the monastery. You won't find anything similar to Elevator de Santa just anywhere else. It's unique. Located directly in the Old Town, this passenger lift connects the districts of Vice, Chiado, and Barro, offering a convenient and amazing connection. The lift has been transporting people from one district to another since 1902. The lift cabin can accommodate 24 people, and its greatest advantage is that it offers an alternative to going from Baiaxa to Chiado and Barrow districts, located as much as 45 meters higher. If you are looking for an unforgettable view and want to feel the atmosphere of ancient Lisbon, you must visit Castelo de Seo Jorge. This castle, located on a hill above the city, is one of the most significant monuments of Lisbon. The path leading to the castle, passing numerous viewpoints, takes your breath away from the very beginning. However, only from the top of the castle, there is an amazing view of the city. In addition to beautiful views, the castle offers many attractions, such as towers that can be climbed by stairs and an exhibition dedicated to the history of the city. Don't miss the opportunity to feel the atmosphere of the ancient city and take unforgettable photos from one of the most picturesque viewpoints in Lisbon. If you are looking for peace and want to feel the spirit of old times, be sure to visit the Monastery of São Vicente de Fora. This historic complex is a perfect place to take a break from the hustle and bustle of the city and immerse yourself in history. The interior of the monastery impresses with hand-painted tiles that give it a unique atmosphere. If you want to admire beautiful views, climb to the roof of the monastery and see what the surrounding streets and houses look like from above. It is also worth visiting the Pantheon where members of the Braganza family are buried. It's a fascinating place that will let you feel how important they were in Portuguese history. Let's discover one of the most picturesque districts in the city, Alfamar. There are many small, charming streets that invite you to stroll and admire beautiful sights. See, Patriarchal Cathedral is one of the most magnificent churches in the entire city. 
But that's not all Alphama has to offer. This district is also famous for its amazing street art and colorful graffiti that can be found in many spots. If you feel like shopping, it is worth visiting Farah de Aladra Flea Market. I hope I inspired you to check out what else this charming part of the city offers. Keep watching and see what other treasures Lisbon hides. If you want to see Lisbon from a unique perspective, be sure to visit Miradoro da Senhora do Monte. It is one of the most picturesque viewpoints in the city, offering a breathtaking view of the entire metropolis. This place is not as popular as other viewpoints in the city, so you will definitely avoid the crowds of tourists and have time to enjoy yourself. Miraduro de Senhora do Monte is located right next to a small church and garden with a beautiful view of the old town and the castle of Sao George. To get there, take the 28 tram at the Rua de Graca stop. Even on a short trip to Lisbon, a walk along the river is not to be missed, as it is a perfect place to start your adventure with this city. You can rent a bike or walk along the embankment. The riverfront docks have been transformed into some of the city's trendiest locations. Restaurants and nightclubs are combined here with fashionable shops, creating new atmosphere. A perfect example of such a place is Docas do Jardim do Tobacco, which never sleeps and is teeming with life day and night. Enjoy the atmosphere of this place and let this Lisbon adventure stay in your memory for a long time. A visit to Lisbon without seeing Parque das Nacoas is incomplete, built on the grounds of Expo 98. This area is a true gem among the city's modern attractions. Cultural and sports institutions established in former warehouses provide an opportunity to get acquainted with the city's creative side. The twin towers of Torre Seo Rafael e Sao Gabriel are a unique architectural feature, while the Vasco da Gama Shopping Center is a perfect place to shop and take a break from sightseeing. Visit povohao.conhexiamu, a pavilion of knowledge that provides fascinating interactive exhibition experience. In Parque das Nicos, you will also find one of the best aquariums in Europe, which will surely delight both children and adults. One of the most beautiful and popular squares in Lisbon is Rossio. This is the heart of the city, which was once the site of many revolutions and celebrations. The square is officially called Praca Dom Pedro IV, but most people know it simply as Rossio. There are numerous shops, cafes, and restaurants, as well as a 23 meters high column, showing Dom Pedro IV, which is one of the most important elements of Lisbon's urban landscape. The square is surrounded by beautiful Baroque fountains that add even more charm to it. It's a perfect place to lose yourself in the crowd and feel the pulse of the city. Let me share one of my favorite places in this city with you, the Barro Alto District. This part of the city is a real gem in the crown of Lisbon, especially in the evening when the whole area lights up with colors and music. Barro Alto lies on a hill above the Baica District and offers breathtaking views. It is also one of the highest located places in the whole city. What distinguishes Barro Alto is its architecture and history. Many narrow streets have remained unchanged since the 1755 earthquake, which allows you to feel as if you have gone back in time and feel the spirit of Lisbon from centuries ago. It used to be a craftsman's district, but over time printing houses and newspapers began to settle here. Today, Barro Alto is primarily known for its traditional taste guess. There is one more thing that makes Barro Alto so special. Most of the district is a car-free zone. You can walk along the streets and enjoy the atmosphere of this place without noise and exhaust fumes. In the next part of our tour of Lisbon, we move to the Chiado district full of history and charm where you can feel the atmosphere of old Lisbon. In the center of the district, there are two charming shopping streets, Rua Garrett and Rua do Carmar. Formerly inhabited by the upper social class, mainly today it comprises of magnificent buildings and monuments among which it is worth paying attention to the A Brasileira Cafe, belonging to the family of the famous poet Fernando Pessoa. The ruins of former Convento do Carmo Monastery, which date back to the 14th century and still impress with their mystical atmosphere, are located nearby. This place will certainly interest all lovers of history and architecture. If you like walking around interesting places, be sure not to miss this district. 
If you're looking for a way to explore the city on a shoestring budget, free walking tour may be a perfect solution. As the name suggests, it's a free tour with a local guide who will tell you about interesting places and fun facts. What's more, you can pay as much as you want for this, thanks to the pay what you wish principle. This is a great opportunity to get to know the city, as well as its culture, and at the same time not to spend too much money, so don't forget to leave a tip for the guide whose hard work deserves to be appreciated. While in Lisbon, be sure to visit some local beaches. It is a perfect place to rest, relax, and have fun in the water. Praia de Carcavelos, a beautiful sandy beach that is easily accessible by train, is definitely worth a visit. This is the right place for surfing or swimming in the Atlantic. If you're looking for something more secluded, opt for the small fishing village of Cascasis, famous for its several lovely beaches. Public transport will allow you to reach some beaches, but for more flexibility, chose car rental. Believe me, visiting these beaches will definitely turn your city break into a summer vacation. Lisbon is not only history and architecture. Being here, you must try a few specialties that are part of the local culinary tradition. The list of necessary experiences includes, above all, coffee, which accompanies the Portuguese every day. Here, espresso is a real religion and people drink up to six cups a day. It is worth visiting small cafes, where you can try aromatic coffee at the counter and chat with friends. In such spots, coffee is cheaper than in cafes with sitting places. Another must-have is tasty pastes de Belém or pasteias de nata. It's simply famous Portuguese puff pastry with pudding baked since the 18th century. These delicious cupcakes are available in many cafes and match coffee perfectly. Naturally, you may not forget about the main course. Bacalhau. Dried cod from the Atlantic takes the first place among traditional dishes. In Lisbon, it is said there are 365 different ways to prepare this fish and each one tastes different. A popular variation is bacalhau a brass, which is fried cod with potatoes and onions. Caldo verde green soup, which consists of cabbage, onion, and thin slices of potato, also often appears on the tables of the inhabitants of Lisbon. If you want to try something really original, we recommend carne de porco alentejana, which is pork cooked with mussels and tomatoes and some vegetables. This is a specialty of the neighboring Alentejo region, the taste of which will surprise you with its unusualness. As you can see, Lisbon has a lot to offer. This Portuguese capital offers not only warm climate and beautiful views, but also many attractions for younger and older people. You don't have to be a party animal to love this city because it's perfect for everyone. Strolling through picturesque streets, which are bustling with life all day long, is just one of many pleasant experiences that are waiting for you in Lisbon. You can also spend time with your family, exploring the monuments and beautiful gardens, or relaxing on the beach, indulging in the sun and the sounds of the ocean waves. In the evening, the city takes on a completely different character, and its nightlife is a real feast for the senses. If you're wondering if it's worth spending a few hours flying to see this city, the answer is yes. Lisbon is worth seeing with your own eyes. Appreciating its charm and atmosphere, everyone will find something for himself or herself here. So don't wait, treat yourself and go to Lisbon. You will have an unforgettable holiday and the time spent there will be remembered for a long time. I really do hope I was able to inspire you to discover new places and experience unforgettable moments. Remember that every trip is a chance to get to know another culture, understand other people, and develop yourself as a human being. If you are planning your own adventure, don't forget to use the links in the description below the video to book accommodation and tickets to local attractions and to order a card for cheap payments abroad. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell so as not to miss the next episodes. I wish you enjoyable travels and unforgettable experiences.